हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर विजय कुमार विश्वकर्मा होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस सिचुएशन टुडे आई विल टीच हाउ टू इंस्टॉल और कॉन्फ़िगर जी अंडर स्कोर एम एम सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन द ग्रोमैक्स वर्जन 2020 बेसिकली दिस इंस्टॉलेशन हैव टू पार्ट फर्स्ट द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन और इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ ओल्डर वर्जन ऑफ ग्रोमैक्स दैट विल बी द टू because this installation is quite different as given on website of gromax so it is important to consider here otherwise i have a lecture on the uh, installation of gromax newer version but here i told how to configure the older version because in the website the regression test for older version is not given so how to obtain the regression test and configure the older uh, older version of gromax here i can teach you and second is the compilation or building of gmm pbsa from their source code during the installation i will also talk what are the necessary packages and what are their roles basically uh, the some repositories are binaries files which require to compilation of the uh, gmmp vsa and gromax will be told by me here so keep patience i think this video may be long because uh, this is uh, this comprises two part so keep patience and watch the complete video If you like the video and effort please subscribe my channel hope i will meet your requirement now the first part of the installation is configuration of gromax so to configure gromax first download the older repository repositories uh, are source code from the website so i have to go to google and uh, search index of gromax download if you simply write gromax download then it will show option to the latest download but if you search index of gromax download it will show all versions indexed here on a website that is the st tps colon double slash ftp dot gromax dot org so just click on index of pub slash gromax and download the version gromax 2020 so uh, uh, you are seeing here that the all versions of gromax and their uh, binaries file are given here so i am going to download the version 2020 and the basic version 2020 so why i am going to download this just go here this is the basic website of g underscore mm pbsc and the installation section this website tell us the gromax supported versions are just see here the gromax supported versions are gromax 5.0.x or 5.1.x okay so i think uh, this website only give support for latest version of Gro uh, sorry Gro uh, gromax version 5.1.x but this source code is open that's why the another developer that is the tilde slu have developed this source code to the version of 2020 just go to github and search tilde slu g underscore mmp bsa you find this page or you can also uh, find from this source that is github.com tilde slu etc so here i am uh, 
just focusing on this how to configure these files not going to detail of the website because you all are uh, more genius and you can found this one this one so uh, this is the version 1.7.1 of the g underscore mm pbs software this website or this master reported that this support to the version 2019.x but somehow i find on uh, discussing with tilde slow that this also support 2020 that's why i am going to configuring gmm underscore pbs software on 2020 so download the source code this is the latest source code so you uh, you can download from this source code just click on latest version that is the version 1.7.1 and there are two types of source code first is zip file and second is star.gz so right click on this and save uh, or copy the source location but before going to install the g underscore mpbsj we have to first configure the older version of bromax that is 2020 so that's why i am going to download the version 2020 just go here and this is the plain version of 2020 so just right click on it and copy link okay now open ubuntu ubuntu terminal as administrator and first run the command sudo apt get update now type your password and enter wait this command have to complete it successfully if uh, it prompted for uh, the option s or no then type s y for s and just press enter so i am resuming this video because this will be lengthier so after completion of this command i will be come back now run the next command sudo apt get upgrade when we going to configure the gromax we have the certain pre required packages and these packages are c c++ compiler c make build essential fftw library docsizen and degression test packages so what are these packages here a brief introduction that is c++ is a compiler to make binary file and build essential is the essential packages needed to compile a desired package for your transformation libraries and de facto standard tools so these are the packages which are required to compile the gromax so one by one we are going to install these packages first of all we have performed these two tasks and now we have to install the compiler c plus plus rc by this command just copy this command i write in terminal
press enter and wait since i already install this software that's why it shows that the version of software and uh, zero upgrade or zero newly installed but in uh, your case it will be the fresh installation so go to the next command just copy and press enter so it will install cmake so wait for the installation i am pausing the video the installation of cmake is successful since i already installed the version 3.1.16.3 so we have to move towards the next command and In a typical case, you may also note the path. So just type here PWD and note your path. So in this case, my path is slash home slash bj. Since I already mentioned it here, slash home slash bj. So uh, your path may be different just note it and this path will be used in future now installation of build essential just copy this command or type sudo apt-get install build essential Just press enter since installation is going on. That's why. Okay, let us finish this because I already installed. So it says it is the newest version. So move towards the new command. During this installation, you have a good internet connectivity. Otherwise, you may face the problem. Now, the installation of Fourier transform library, just type sudo apt-get install sudo apt-get install lib ffw 3 dash dev so just type here sudo apt-get install lib ffw 3 dash dev and press enter In this case, the installation may going on and it do not taking much time because I have pre-installed these softwares and it already so this is the newest version, this, this, this. So in your case, this may take some time. So wait for your time to completion of the command or installation and move towards the next command. Now next command is installation of doxygen so just type sudo apt-get install doxygen sudo apt-get install doxygen as i previously told that uh, the installation of this gromax is uh, quite different from the typical installation of gromax as uh, given or mentioned in the gromax website because in in my previous video, I never talk about the installation of Doxygen, but here I am talking the installation of Doxygen. So remember this. Now just move towards the next command. 
installation of sorry uh, unpacking of and downloading and unpacking of regression test since i told that the regression test for the older version is not given to the latest website so you have to search in a specific manner and you can search in like this manner index of so just go to search window and type index of regression test gromex just hit enter scroll down oh let us change the uh, this searching tool to google so after changing the uh, default search engine being to google just type index of gromax regression test download and go to the website index of regression test since i am uh, using are going to install gromax 2020 version plain not 0.123 so just download the regression test of that version so this is the regression test for the version just right click on this and copy the link okay now go to the ubuntu terminal and just type w get space and paste the link and download the file so it is taking uh, approximately 2 to 3 minutes so i am pausing the video and again resuming when the download will be completed here you see that the download of regression test is completed 100% and the file is written in your uh, home uh, folder so just type here ls command and list the file you have downloaded that is the downloaded file so this is a tar.gz file so you have to untar this file so untar this file using using the command tar tar dash xvzf and write the name r e g r e double s i o n T S T regression test slash two zero two zero dot tar dot g z and press enter. Oh oh, sorry, this is typographical error. This is regression tests. So this command is untaring your whole folder are unzipping the file so you have we have to wait until this untar will finished just wait now the untaring is finished just note the path by typing pwd where these files are written that is the pwd are uh, first type the ls and list the file just you can see here the folder regression test 202 is being made by the tar command and this is the folder okay so what is the path of this you can type and pwd and note this path because this path will be used by us and here in my case it is slash home slash bj now next is the download of gromax 2020 so we have to go to the index for gromax just go here and go for the version 2020 gromax and right click on this and just copy link now go to the ubuntu terminal and download 
by using wget command wget command just type wget and space and paste here your link and press enter it will download the grow max 202 tar.gz so i am again pausing the video and resume this video after the completion of download now the download is completed and this can be seen by just typing ls command and this is your uh, grow max uh, okay this is your grow max 2020.tar.gz file so untar this by just typing the tar command that is the grow max dash 2020.tar.gz and just press enter Now the untaring is finished. So we have to move towards the next command. Just type ls and see where the folder is found or not, or untar is completed or not. So you saw that the gromax dash 2020 is here. Now just type cd gromax dash 2020 and press enter go inside the directory uh, by cd command and make a folder called build by typing mkdir space puild build and press enter again go inside the directory you have created and this is the build now we have to compile using make command so what is the basic differences between this uh, routine installation just so uh, just see here i am showing what is the basic difference in so here i am going to show the basic difference just type grow max installation and press enter this is the latest manual and you can also go for the uh, older manual but but routine installation only comprises these two command that is the <coughs> degradation test download on but we are going to proceed with the manual degradation test installation because we are going to download uh, configure the older version and fftw you may choose on or off both if you have pre-installed then you may uh, put as a off but you may also on it it does not make any basic error just see the here is bus uh, here is only two command but in my configuration i am showing you these are the total commands which we have to perform and what are these commands first is own fft w library on degradation test download off because we are going to provide the manual downloaded degradation test and we have downloaded it in into folder home vj slash degradation test 2020 okay your path this will may change as per the uh, pwd command as i, I saw uh, you to uh, the uh, previously as i uh, told you previously and here the dash dc make install prefix it is used to install gromax at a specific place 
so in my case i am going to install gromax in opt folder making a different folder opt and i am doing this because the uh, this website basically the g underscore mmpbs website is just see on this website because in this website the all thing is being configured in a different folder okay so if uh, i told you how to configure then it will be fine but when you forget this then you will search opt slash grow max opt slash grow max and you find that you are making an error that's why i am going to perform such type of installation which is uh, explained on this website okay so we are going to uh, install gromax on slash apt folder means opt folder and this folder will be your root fs directory okay where your home user etc folder were me so let us make clear it now next is gpu so uh, this calculation is only run on the CPU. That's why the GPU is off. Next, use of TNG. TNG type of uh, trajectory is off because it sometimes create error. So you may uh, on, you may put on, but when you are using ABPS 1.4 version, if you are using ABPS 1.3 version, then it will be off for better option. So put it off for better option. Next, MPI support. It does not support MPI. So MPI is off. And now the most important option is install legacy API. If you are not going to on this one, then you will be suffered. So these are the total uh, changes which are made by me uh, by uh, searching different uh, website and talking to different peoples just copy this this command and paste on the terminal okay and now press enter so i think it will take too much time and uh, till time uh, no any error came that's i am that's why i am going to pause my video or uh, wait for one to two minutes and after i will pause the video and uh, resume the video on the completion of this command because this may take two times and video will be lengthy if any error will came then I will explain how to remove it. Just see here from beginning and I'm going to show that from this command and these all are going to be run and the configuration is successfully done as I'm going down to down. Just see here. And in last, you get a message, build files have been written to slash home slash which is slash chrome act as 202 build folder. So the configuration configuring is done, generating is done. Okay. And everything is almost get successfully written so we have to go towards the next command and the next command is sudo make so just type here sudo make and this command also take too much time to write the repositories so we are going to 
sorry i am going to pause this video and uh, resume after the completion of this command so take a coffee break well after a long back approximately wait of uh, one to two hour and uh, the process which i have uh, type a command uh, that is sudo make is being completed and now we have to move towards the next command and that will is uh, that is the sudo make check and this command is run to check uh, whether any binary composition will be left or not so this is just a checking command you may also skip this now uh, i can also show you the how much time and what the processing it takes the uh, you can see that by scrolling this one it takes too much time to complete this command okay well here i type the command sudo make and it takes approximately more than one hour or two hour approximately two hours to complete this command but the target build is written successfully without any error it is very pleasant for me so just type the next command sudo make check and press enter and type the password now wait for the completion of this command it takes approximately less time because it only check for the target build trajectories which are written in build folder if uh, a few are missing then it will correct and uh, install or write this directory to the uh, build folder so i am again pausing the video and resume after the completion of now after a long wait the sudo make check command have completed and uh, it passes all test and 100% build target were checked so we have to also cross check that these tests are passed or not so i am going to scroll up and down once just see here uh, it passes all test and also build the some uh, repositories are binaries which are missing so you can see here 1 to uh, 71 binaries are built very fast and after that it takes some time to build up to 100 and cross check it to 100 and go for the testes so now it is time to run the final installation step that is uh, sudo make install so just type here sudo make install uh, this one so this is the last step to install the grow max with modified configuration so just press here enter and since it is a long time back that's why it is asking for password just enter your password and press enter now it is building and copying the target directory to this this uh, opt grow max folder so it is taking a little bit time not too much that's why i'm not going to pause the video okay well uh, now uh, you can see that the installation i have completed in that after this we have to check uh, this installation so there are two way first to uh, close the terminal and uh, 
uh, wait for the updation of binaries to the dot bashrc file and reopen the terminal but uh, here i am going to check without uh, closing the terminal so just type here source now our uh, target files are uh, written in slash ops gromax okay so we have to write here slash opt opt gromax gromax bin gmxrc okay uh, just see here this is uh, quite different from the uh, uh, step uh, or command given in website and in website uh, you find that the command is this one is given just one just one second Uh, just see here source user local chrome x bin gmx rc okay so right now here i am typing source opt chrome x bin gmx rc and now press enter one second well so uh, do not show any error that means the configuration is built successfully now you can type gmx to uh, find whether the installation is successful or not just uh, type gmx and press enter and now you find that the all versions in its report about the gmx work now our version is gmx2020 which uh, i am going to install in from beginning and now uh, where it is installed you have the options to change its location and uh, uh, you can install uh, with uh, certain modified so uh, it say that executable is written here data prefix is here and working directory is this one so since we do not give any command to gmx that's right it uh, showing the options what is the options that uh, these are the uh, options so uh, you see here that the installation of gromax is successfully completed since installation of uh, gromax completed successfully now we have to so go on this slow and version 1. Points. now there is star.gz so we copy the link and go to the terminal and download using we get wget command and just paste here your link and press enter now it is going to download and uh, the percent uh, now the download have finished and this have saved as a v 1.7.1 dot tar dot gz now i am going to enter this downloaded file so just tar and just type tar this xvzf v1.7.1 dot tar dot gz and press enter okay before uh, going to a detailed installation here we can found that uh, gmm pvs installation can be configured in two way first is without abps and second is with abps so uh, here uh, i suggest you to use external abps so here i need to install abps since i previously installed but here i am going to show how to install apbs adaptive poison bolt and man voltage man and solver so just type here command sudo apt get install 
APBS and press enter. Now type your password. Uh, it will say that in the one is already ex exist. Just see here, it say that APBS is already the newest version. So it is not going to any configurational changes. But if you do not install, it is install the APPS. Now let's check the installation of ABPS is completed or not. And this can be done. Just see here. Just type here A, P, B, S and press enter. Okay. You also use dash dash version option with ABPS to find the version of ABPS. Since there is no input file provided, hence it tells me the error. So just see here ABPS adaptive poison poison voltage man and solver version 1.4.1 is installed. So here uh, we're gonna to use the external ABPS as a support. So just type here CD G. Uh, one second, let us list the directories ls by ls command. You find that the entire command provide you g underscore mm pbs 1.7.1 .1. so here uh, I going, i'm going to change my directory g by cd g underscore mm p b s a and press enter oh sorry uh dash 1.7.1 .1. now uh, we have to make uh, <clears throat> the build folder as per the instruction of uh, website found by Rasmi Kumari or uh, tutorial proposed by Rasmi build and this and this. Okay, so uh, here I'm going to type mkdr build, just press enter, now change, now change your directory to cd build and uh, before I'm going to installation, so just copy this command and <coughs> paste here. Okay, fine. Uh, what we'll uh, going to do because here we are uh, going to export the uh, Gromax library and we already uh, install Gromax in slash opt folder. So just press enter. Okay. So uh, you find that uh, here is no any error means exportation of Gromax from up to Gromax is successful. Now uh, um, we can run our next command and that is the CMake command. Just copy this command from here. Copy and paste on terminal. Okay, now press enter. Uh, there is no need to change anything in command. All thing is fine. So just press enter. Okay, fine. The installation of uh, make file, sorry, configuration of make file begin starts. Let us see where an error came or not. If any error came, then we go through. Otherwise, if all thing is fine, we move forward. Okay, all thing is running very fine. So this video on pass mode. Okay, fine. The command completed their task and build files have been written to the uh, this directory home which means our current working directory build. 
next command is remain left so just type here sudo make and press enter let us wait to complete this command uh, i think it takes five minutes approximately but uh, at this time i am not going to pause my video just see what is happening if i'll just wait Okay, fine. So uh, target build G and score me PBS say completed successfully 100% without any error. So we move towards the next command that is sudo make install. Just type here sudo make install and press enter. Okay. So everything is fine, install configuration and uh, set runtime environment, everything is uh, completed very successfully. If you want to cross check this installation, you can also go to your folder and check. But here I'm uh, going to show how to export GMM PBSA. Just type here CD and exit from the current directory. Now, to execute the command, we have to export or activate the GMM PBSA. So, this can be made in such a manner. One second. If you only type G underscore MM PBSA, it's so error, the command not found. Okay, so in that case, we have to export GMX, G underscore MM PBSA to, so how to export? First export using the command, just copy this command because we do not set the in, uh, path variable in dot bshrc file. If you set this one, then there will be no need to run this just <clears throat> just paste it here okay so exportation is completed now uh, simply type g underscore m pvs say without any option you will find the detail of g underscore m pvs say installation g underscore m pvs say okay let us find uh, this software has uh, is running on version 202.112 this version and uh, it says that the following option dash f dash s option required here the type of file okay i am scrolling above <coughs> just see here when I uh, type g underscore mmpvs it so grow max g under mmpvs say version 2.202.1 and ubuntu this one is installed and is ready to run so just provide the option because it's so error in user input so we do not provide this f option this s option that's why it uh, <coughs> results in error okay but the thing is very fine we are able to install g underscore mmpvsc software and able to run i think version 20202 is not too old i will try to compile in uh, this one and latest version if i get successful i will upload a video but in next video i will upload how to perform the calculation 
means protein ligand protein ligand mm pvsa pvsa analysis okay so my next video will be on mm pvsa analysis using g underscore mm pvsa software since the installation is completed okay so you can you can also uh, try in this installation and uh, go to the tutorial which was provided by the rasmi kumari just see here okay just see here you can also go to the tutorial and perform the two types of tasks uh, these are the protein inhibitor complex and energy contribution to the residue to binding these two types of energy contribution using the underscore and pvsa software can be calculated as per the instructions of this website okay so this is all about the ng underscore mmpvsa analysis now finally uh, the script which i am uh, use during the installation uh, you can found this script on my website www com. okay and uh, the link the link for the same link for the same will be shared in description so you <coughs> you get a link to reach the space directly okay fine thank you for listening me have a nice day and please like subscribe and share my videos